My name is Manuela Siebert and I'm the founder and director at Northern Immigration Australia. I have been asked to tell my story and to share a little bit more about myself so people can get to know me a bit better. Um, so my migration journey started in April 2009. Um, I'm originally from Germany. So after I finished university, I came to Australia on a one-way ticket uh, with a work and holiday visa. And um, yeah, I started traveling and very soon fell in love with the country and the people because it's so incredibly beautiful uh, and the people are so open and friendly and fun. Um, so very soon I decided I want to stay permanently in Australia and I know that lots of people like you are also in the, in the, in the same boat um, and having similar thoughts. So um, yeah, I looked into visa options for myself um, and I know also I remember how confusing it is because there's just so many options and so many different requirements and also now over the years it's become more and more complicated and complex. Um, but for me at the time the best solution was to find an employer to sponsor me. Um, so that's what I did and I found an employer in Darwin in Northern Territory and um, I was sponsored on the 187 Regional Sponsored Immigration Scheme Visa and then after two years I received my full permanent residency and um, from there, um, well a few years later, I received my citizenship um, in January 2014. So I have dual citizenship, German, Australian. Um, and um, throughout these years I was always interested in politics, in law, in particular in immigration law. So, um, and I always, um, you know, have been in touch with you know, people from overseas because, you know, I'm a migrant myself. Um, and I've always, you know, shared my story and, um, you know, said what I did with my visa application and with my visa immigration pathway. So, um, yeah, um, a few years later, it actually then hit me because I just felt so inspired um, by the people around me and by my own journey um, that I wanted to keep helping other people um, and make a living of it. So um, back in February 2016 is when I started my business Northern Immigration Australia um, in my home office in Darwin, um, actually in Palmerston to be exact. Um, and um, yeah, so back in the home office, um, then a few months later, I moved into an office building. Um, I started to employ people. Now we, you know, we have a team of people, migration agents and lawyers um, that can, you know, assist uh, more people, of course, and we also have expanded. So um, we started off in Darwin, Northern Territory, and now we are also in Brisbane, Queensland, on the east coast of Australia, and we have more plans to expand um, in Australia as well as maybe um, overseas. So um, currently I'm um, doing a lot of speaking. Um, so I um, hold events, um, seminars about different visa types. Um, I hold these seminars around Australia as well as overseas. I just returned from South Africa where I was on a speaking tour, uh, which was so much fun. Um, and um, yeah, hoping to help, you know, lots more people to migrate. We also do webinars. So if you can't attend in person somewhere, um, you can just jump online. Uh, and um, attend one of our webinars. Um, yeah, so um, that is my, 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 my journey, I guess, in regards to how I came to Australia um, and how I managed to you know, get my permanent visa and my citizenship. So, um, and I know, like I said, you know, over time it has become more difficult, but there's still options. So in particular, if you have qualifications and work experience in a certain field, um, then there's plenty of options. If you don't have um, if you don't have qualifications or lack on work experience, there's still options, but it just may take you a little bit longer um, to reach your goal. So um, I have also asked to talk a little bit about you know how I balance out my well, as you can imagine, stressful work life um, because it is it is quite intense. Um, so I will always remember my own visa journey. Um, there's you know. 
flows and ups and you just you know the uncertainty I know the uncertainty is the worst because you just don't know what's going to happen to you uh, especially when you have to wait for a very long time for the department to make a decision on your application um, but um, so to balance out my work life um, I enjoy being out in nature um, so that's also why I chose to um, shoot this video outdoors um, and yeah I like going for hikes um, and I like going exploring um, so I like going on road trips um, or travel around Australia or overseas I also like the water and one of my um, favorite hobbies is sailing um, and I uh, also like dancing so I dance salsa and other Latin American dances um, so yeah trying to you know mix it up um, and yeah in Australia I would say we definitely have a very good work-life balance obviously as a business owner it's not always that easy to um, make sure that you have you know a full weekend and your evenings and so on but like I said I do love what I do I'm very passionate about my work um, and so is my team and um, yeah so I hope that um, you enjoyed my sharing <laughs> of my journey and um, I know that many people are in a very similar um, situation than I was um, back in you know um, uh, when I came to Australia so it is not easy but it is possible you just have to be persistent determined and patient so that's the three attributes I would say that you need while going through this process and if you need help my team and I we're more than happy to sit down with you for a consultation go through your um, you know through your details through your documents um, and assess your options so um, yeah so if you need my help or if you want to chat um, click on the link below and um, I shall speak with you soon